Hello students, welcome all of you to the RR Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the most important topic in physics that is oscillations. Oscillations. Actually what is oscillations or what we are going to discuss about in oscillations. Generally if you are taking about the motions, motion, different types of motion we have, translatory motion, rotatory motion and then oscillatory motion. Translatory motion, rotational motion and then oscillatory motion. So what is oscillatory motion exactly? So the to and fro motion of a particle about a fixed point. The to and fro motion of a particle about a fixed point. If it is only this, then what is the no need of to discuss a, a complete topic. It is something is there more than this. So let's see it. So our topic is oscillations. One of the important topic in uh, uh, board and as well as J E in it. There is a compulsory question from this topic. So first of all, what is a motion? Motion we know that particle changes position. In that exactly here motion we can divide it into some other types. In that periodic motion. What is that? Periodic motion. What is a periodic motion? Periodic motion means what is the meaning of period? What is the meaning of a period? So period means we are saying that yes, a particular interval of time. A particular interval of time. If the motion which repeats in a particular interval of time and that motion we can say that periodic motion. The motion which repeats in a particular interval of time. That particular interval only we can say that equal intervals. Yes, the motion which repeats in equal intervals of time and that motion we can say that periodic motion. The motion which repeats in equal intervals of time, in equal intervals of time. So the motion we can say that simply periodic motion. So what are the examples of the periodic motion? A motion which repeats in equal intervals of time in equal intervals of time intervals of time that is simply we are named as periodic motion what are the examples of this periodic motion and which kind of motions we can say that a periodic motion first and best example is motion of planets motion of planets motion of planets around the sun motion of planets so planets are revolving around the sun in a particular orbit revolving around the sun in a particular orbit so actually the motion which is repeats continuously for example if you consider earth earth repeats its complete one rotation around the sun for every 365 days that's only we can call as one year and also earth can rotate about itself or self rotation self rotation time is at 24 hours that's only we are named as one day due to the periodic motion we have an year and as well as a day due to the periodic motion periodic motion means the motion which repeats in equal intervals of time the motion which repeats in equal intervals of time that we are say that periodic motion and one more example the motion of hands the motion of hands in your watch hands in a watch so that's also we can give as a periodic motion the motion of hands in a watch means our hand our hand taking 12 hours to complete one rotation minutes hand taking one hour to complete one rotation seconds hand is taking one minute to complete one rotation one minute to complete one rotation so that's we are taken as the motion of the hands is nothing but a periodic motion motion of the hands in a watch is nothing but periodic motion and some more objects some more we in this condition you may think that the periodic motion is only taking in a circular path no no it's not necessarily a circular path it may be going like this to and fro motion also what is that to and fro motion but that must be in equal intervals so for example pendulum pendulum of a clock pendulum of a clock if it is maintaining a pendulum of a clock it must be what is the condition 
the motion must be repeats in equal intervals the motion must be repeat in equal intervals so that's we can say that simply periodic motion periodic motion so what is the periodic motion the motion which repeats in equal intervals of time that's we can say that periodic motion next we have harmonic motion or oscillatory motion oscillatory motion sick oscillatory motion what is exactly the oscillatory motion the to and fro motion to and fro motion the to and fro motion of a particle about a fixed point to and fro to and fro like this to fro to fro so this motion we can say that a simply oscillatory motion and one more thing is there vibratory motion what is vibratory motion vibration what is vibration vibration also to and fro only na? yes see this we can say that oscillatory and this we can say that vibratory what you are observing here oscillatory like this and vibratory yes vibratory so vibration so both are same only but there is a small difference oscillatory motion is nothing but the to and fro motion of your particle with low frequency to and fro motion with low frequency to and fro motion with low frequency we can say that oscillatory motion see here i can taking only one oscillation per one second but here we are taking more oscillations so that's we can say that so to and fro motion with the low frequency we can say that oscillatory motion a to and fro motion with the high frequency to and fro motion with the high frequency with the high frequency high frequency for example motion of the pendulum motion of the pendulum what we can say that uh, the motion of the pendulum is uh, example of simple uh, the example of oscillatory motion or vibratory motion yes of course we are saying that it is oscillatory motion why we are not saying it is as vibratory motion because that is having vibration even you can take a string motion of the string is uh, uh, vibratory or oscillatory of course we are saying vibratory but both are having one same property to and fro to and fro but it is taking uh, much time to complete the rotation and it is taking small time to take the complete rotation so this is a low high frequency this is low frequency high frequency means number of oscillations per second number of oscillations per second is more that we can say that high frequency number of oscillations per second is less that is called low frequency number of oscillations per second is more high frequency number of oscillations per second is less that's called low frequency and you can take the examples of oscillatory motion example of oscillatory motion what are the examples of oscillatory motion yes first example i can take a simple pendulum simple pendulum simple pendulum is the example of motion of simple pendulum is oscillatory motion next uh, motion of uh, seesaw seesaw the uh, kids are playing in the park seesaw motion of seesaw and as well as a swing motion of a swing motion of a swing this is also okay uh, simply what we can say that oscillatory motion motion of this uh, motion of the fluid in youtube youtube means you are taking a u shape tube u shape tube in the tube if you are taking some fluid the fluid will moves here and then here so how those are moving up and down up and down to and fro so that's we can say that oscillatory motion examples and what are the examples of vibratory motion vibratory motion vibratory motion nothing but the motion which repeats us actually to and fro motion only with a high frequency nothing but motion of the strings strings in the musical instrument strings in musical instrument in musical instrument whatever we are taking the musical instrument uh, the motion of the strings of musical instruments we can give as a vibratory motion vibratory motion and what some more we can able to give you can take a, a, a drum on the drum just you can beat the drum and drop some uh, sand particles and those particles are 
looking up and down. That's also we can able to give vibratory motion. Strings, all musical instruments, veena, guitar, or else while not violin, veena, guitar. So whatever we are taking. So those are nothing but uh, vibratory motion, oscillatory motion, and as well as vibratory motion. So what is a periodic motion? A periodic motion means the motion which repeats in equal intervals of time. You can also give uh, pendulum motion also. The motion which repeats in equal intervals of time periodic motion the motion a to and fro motion we can say that with low frequency oscillatory motion with high frequency is uh, periodic sorry vibratory motion and here you can observe there is a one common thing so one uh, common thing and one thing a periodic motion every oscillatory motion is must be periodic every oscillatory motion is a must be periodic Every oscillatory motion, even you can take this oscillatory motion, this oscillatory Every oscillatory motion is must be periodic. But every periodic motion need not be oscillatory. Every periodic motion need not be oscillatory. But every oscillatory motion must be periodic. Every oscillatory motion must be periodic. Harmonic motion. For simple harmonic, the motion to be simple harmonic, we have some conditions. What are those? See here, the motion must be periodic. First one, motion must be periodic. Next, motion must be oscillatory. Motion must be oscillatory. Acceleration is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction. The acceleration of the particle is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction. That's we are taking as simply one condition. Next, acceleration is always acts towards the mean position. The acceleration of the particle always acts towards the mean position if if the particle if it is obeys all conditions then only we can say that simple harmonic motion once again see what are the conditions for the simple harmonic motion the motion must be periodic periodic means which repeats the motion in equal intervals of time which repeats the motion in equal intervals of time that's we can say that periodic motion and the motion must be oscillatory Oscillatory means it must be taking to and fro motion. It must be taking to and fro motion. And one more condition, the acceleration is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction. The acceleration must be directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction. The acceleration is always acts towards the mean position, compulsory. So if the motion is a completely obeys these all conditions, then only we can say that the motion is simple harmonic motion. In short form, what we are doing? SHM. SHM, simple harmonic motion. Motion must be periodic. Motion must be oscillatory. Acceleration is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction. And acceleration is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction. Acceleration always acts towards the main position. So then only we can say that the motion is simple harmonic. The motion is simple harmonic. And next here, if the motion is simple harmonic, we are considering the situation like this. This is the position where it is the center position and this position we are named as a main position and what are these, these two points? One we can say that a positive extreme position and another one we can say that a negative extreme position. Negative extreme position. Positive extreme position and a negative extreme position. Positive extreme position and negative means the particle starts from here. And moving to positive extreme position and again coming to the uh, origin nothing but mean position and again negative extreme position and again origin that we can say that one complete oscillation that is called one complete oscillation so here if the particle is moving about the mean positions like this here the acceleration of the particle is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction the acceleration of the particle directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction if the particle is moving along x axis the particle is moving along x axis at any instant of time at any instant of time we can consider here the motion is periodic and the motion is oscillatory so that's why we are considering here if the particle is moving along x axis like this and the same time you can imagine a uniform circular motion 
you can also imagine a uniform circular motion so how much time is taken to complete along the diameter which takes the same time to complete circular motion like that we have to consider how much time is taken to one complete oscillation along the diameter again which takes same time to complete one oscillation like that we have to imagine whenever we can consider the particle is moving like here at a point p at a time t at a time t the particle is at a point t and then here if you are taking means at the same time you can consider means what is the meaning of that for example one particle starts from here from the point and it may reaches this point at the same time one particle starts from here and it can reach this point the meaning of that it can travel how much distance 90 degrees and this we can also imagine like 90 degrees and here it is making some angle theta and it is moving with an angular velocity omega that is moving with angular velocity omega in a time t that means theta is equal to what we can say that omega t theta is equal to omega t now it may travel a displacement it may travel a displacement so this displacement for example this is a total if i am considering as a, a something uh, value x uh, oh, sorry a and this is if you are taking as x and then you can take a small condition here this is amplitude this is called actually and this is theta and this is x so if you are taking that a is equal to sorry uh, cos theta is equal to we can say that x upon a cos theta is equal to x upon a then x equal to a cos theta x equal to a cos theta then x equal to what we can able to write a cos omega t because theta is equal to omega t so this is we can say that simply the displacement of the particle the displacement of the particle and where a is called this is a and this is also a na? this is a is called maximum displacement the maximum displacement from the mean position we can name it as amplitude the maximum displacement from the mean position we are named as amplitude now what we are getting here x equal to simply a cos omega t how much we got x equal to simply a cos omega t and if you are taking the acceleration of the particle the acceleration of the particle about the about the circumference with a radius or with an amplitude a the acceleration is always acting towards the center and that acceleration we are named as centripetal acceleration centripetal acceleration what we are named as omega square into a omega square into a so whenever you can take at this particular point we can able to take x na if it is taking totally whenever you are taking at a particular point what we can able to take what we can able to take a is equal to omega square x we can able to take omega square x we can able to take and here this one this is the particle we are taking about the x but actually according to the simple harmonic motion the acceleration of the particle which is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction that means we have to take a is equal to minus omega square x a is equal to what we have to take minus omega square x where minus represent where minus represent opposite direction what minus represents opposite direction here actually what we are taking centripetal acceleration of the particle when which is moving along the circumference of the circle i am talking about omega square a in case if the particle is moving along this point then what we have to take minus omega square x at any point minus omega square x where minus represent displacement and acceleration both are in opposite condition displacement and acceleration both are in opposite conditions so finally what we got x value a value minus omega square x in the same condition here uh, already I told you the particle is always acting towards the mean position there is some force is required to bring the particle towards its mean position the force which required to bring the particle towards its mean position is called restoring force the force which required to bring the particle towards its mean position is called restoring force the force which required to the bring the particle towards its mean position we call restoring force the restoring force 
means this force here this this restoring force always acts towards the mean position and the displacement is in that direction so the restoring force is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction the restoring force is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction this is also named as the name of hooke's law what is that hooke's law what is the hooke's law statement the restoring force is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction then f is equal to we can say that minus kx where k is a force constant what is k k is force constant what is k k is force constant and here if you consider the mass of the particle is m then force is equal to we can say that we can write that m a mass into acceleration which is equal to k x then a is equal to minus k by m into x a is equal to minus k by m into x take it as equation 2 and here we got an expression equation 1 and both compare both equations if you are comparing from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 uh, a is equal to a x is equal to x minus omega square is equal to minus k by m then you can get omega square is equal to k by m then omega is equal to under root k by m under root k by m and k value what we can able to write m omega square what we can able to write k value m omega square what is k force constant what is m mass of the body what is omega angular velocity see here um, the acceleration is directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction next we write here simple harmonic equation what is that simple harmonic equation so previous expression what we are writing of uh, a is equal to minus k by m into x a is nothing but acceleration acceleration we are writing dv by dt and velocity we are we can write dx upon dt then acceleration is equal to d square x upon dt square d square x upon dt square so then we can able to write d square x upon dt square is equal to minus k by m into x then finally what you can able to write d square x upon dt square plus k by m into x is equal to zero so this is called simply a simple harmonic equation simple harmonic equation and here uh, if you are taking uh, some definitions we need to take first of all amplitude what is amplitude 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 is nothing but the maximum displacement from the mean position the maximum displacement from the mean position from mean position that is called simply amplitude amplitude maximum displacement from mean position is called amplitude and it is indicated with letter a with letter a and next of frequency frequency or time period frequency frequency is nothing but number of oscillations per second what is frequency number of oscillations per second number of oscillations per second we can call as frequency or another definition of frequency the reciprocal of time period the reciprocal of time period we can call as frequency time period means time period time taken to complete one oscillation time taken to complete one oscillation next here only we can take about a phase phase what is a phase phase is nothing but the state and the vibration of the particle at any instant of time the state and vibration of the particle at any instant of time at any instant of time is called simply phase at any instant of time 
we can call simply phase nothing but we are considering the displacement equation of the simple harmonic motion if the particle is oscillating along x axis here then we can able to take the expression as a cos omega t plus pi a cos omega t plus pi and if the particle is oscillating about the y axis then we can take y is equal to a sin omega t plus pi along x axis what we consider a cos omega t along y axis what we consider a sin omega t along x axis a cos omega t and along y axis a sin omega t plus pi where pi is nothing but phase what is the pi pi is nothing but phase or phase difference phase or phase difference we can call as pi so for example if the particle what is the meaning of that if the particle is at origin means here somewhere else and which is moving to the maximum value and what is the phase difference here the phase difference is nothing but means nothing but when the particle is here and which is moving up to this mean position to extreme position what is the phase phase is nothing but pi by 2 what is the phase pi by 2 and if the particle is moving from mean position to extreme position and again to the mean position then phase difference is pi means uh, this is in the direction and finally it is comes in way so that phase difference is pi pi phi and in case it is taking from there to there so again mean to extreme in opposite then we can say that minus pi by 2 or else 3 pi by 2 like that we can able to take the phase phase is nothing but we can treat it like an angle phase is nothing but we can treat it like an angle also so this is simple harmonic equation next if you are taking extreme position to mean position and you are taking the equations now equations the graphical representation if you are seen that if you are seen that the displacement expression you are taking the displacement of the particle displacement of the particle simple harmonic particle i'm taking here any one expression you can take x is nothing but represent along x axis y represents along y axis that's all that's all so i'm taking y only y is equal to a sin omega t plus pi a sin omega t plus pi so you can consider pi is equal to zero means the particle starts from origin so then a sin omega t a sin omega t now we have to get the velocity expression from this this is a displacement now i want to get the velocity expression the velocity is equal to what we can able to write velocity the rate of change of displacement the rate of change of displacement nothing but the velocity is equal to, i can take dy by dt that is d by dt of a sin omega t d by dt of a sin omega t a is constant function sin omega differentiation is cos omega and again d by dt of omega t d by dt of omega t so that you are getting a cos omega t into omega and finally a omega cos omega t a omega cos omega t what is the value of v v value velocity a omega cos omega t instead of cos i am writing cos omega t i can able to write here cos square omega t is equal to 1 minus sin square omega t we can able to write cos square omega t is equal to 1 minus sin square omega t because cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 nothing but cos omega t is equal to can able to write under root 1 minus sin square omega t under root 1 minus sin square omega t now just to put this value here v is equal to a omega into under root 1 minus sin square omega t under root 1 minus sin square omega t you can send a inside that becomes as omega when a enters inside that becomes as a square 
माइनस ए स्क्वेर साइन स्क्वेर ओमेगा टी ए स्क्वेर माइनस ए स्क्वेर साइन स्क्वेर ओमेगा टी then that is equal to omega into under root a square and a sin omega t is nothing but y that means a square minus y square a square minus y square this is the expression of velocity this is the expression of displacement and this is also but this is in the form of cos function and this is like a numerical value next if you are taking the acceleration the acceleration is nothing but so what is the displacement of simple harmonic particle velocity of simple harmonic particle acceleration of simple harmonic particle so acceleration acceleration means rate of change of velocity dv by dt that is nothing but d by dt of v value this value you can take a omega cos omega t d value how much a omega cos omega t then a is equal to a omega is constant function and d by dt of cos omega t d by dt of cos omega t cos differentiation minus sin cos differentiation minus sin and differentiation of omega t d by dt of omega t you can take differentiation of omega t how much you are getting only omega differentiation of omega t how much you are getting only omega omega into omega omega square means final what we are taking minus omega square into a sin omega t minus omega square into a sin omega t that is equal to a is equal to minus omega square a sin omega t is equal to how much yes y that is y so nothing but what we are taking a is a directly proportional to minus y acceleration is a directly proportional to displacement in opposite direction acceleration is a directly just we see that uh, the acceleration displacement and as well as velocities what about that displacement velocity and acceleration at a different positions hmm? let's see so first of all, I am taking at mean position. At mean position. At which position? Mean position. At mean position. So the particle starts from mean position. The starting point. The, at the starting point, wherever you can take, the displacement becomes zero mean position starting point we are considering the mean position at if the particle starts from mean position displacement zero displacement zero then velocity what about the velocity velocity we know that velocity means uh, actually what we are taking here a sin omega t a sin omega t when which is starts from mean position at that time the omega value is zero sin zero zero sin 0 0 next the velocity function if you are taking v is equal to omega into under root a square omega square sorry a square y square omega a is equal to omega into under root a square minus y square so then velocity v is equal to omega into under root a square minus 0 that means the velocity is goes to a omega the velocity is goes to a omega what is the velocity at mean position is omega and this is the value of maximum this is the value of maximum and take acceleration acceleration at mean position acceleration if you are considering the acceleration is equal to a is equal to minus omega square a sin omega t or else minus omega square into y y zero then acceleration also zero this is the uh, actually the minimum value we can consider a is zero so at mean position displacement zero velocity maximum velocity maximum and acceleration also zero acceleration also zero take at extreme positions at extreme position 
At extreme position, what will happen? At extreme position, displacement. Displacement is going a maximum. Means the particle is moving from mean to extreme. So from mean to extreme, how much a displacement we can able to cover? The displacement is equal to you can take it as A, which can cover A displacement. That is maximum. And velocity, if you are taking velocity, velocity V is equal to omega into under root A square minus Y square. Omega into under root A square minus Y square. Y is equal to again A. Then V is equal to what you are getting? Zero. V is equal to zero. At what position velocity zero? Extreme position. If you are experiencing it, the particle is moving from mean to extreme. At extreme position, the particle is again taking back. The meaning of that, the particle is coming this side. So there actually, there is a question is coming. At which position, at which position, the particle is having zero velocity, and non-zero acceleration zero velocity non-zero acceleration zero velocity non-zero acceleration is a possible extreme position extreme position of simple harmonic motion or else highest point of vertically projected body highest point of vertically projected body if we are taking a vertically projected body at highest point at highest point also velocity zero but acceleration is not zero in case of extreme position of simple harmonic motion velocity zero but acceleration non-zero that's we are taking acceleration which is equal to the acceleration of the particle a is equal to minus omega square y but again y is equal to a then acceleration a is equal to how much you are getting minus omega square into a minus omega square a uh, into a means that is the maximum value in magnitude we are not taking the directionally because the direction of the acceleration always acts towards the center means finally what we can say that at extreme position at extreme position displacement maximum velocity zero acceleration maximum in magnitude omega square a and comes to the mean position at mean position displacement zero acceleration zero and velocity acceleration zero and velocity is maximum velocity is maximum